Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today, we're going to check out an awesome Top 25 deck, but before we jump into it, you can support our channel by following down over there. You can follow us on Twitter or Twitch, as well as like us on Facebook. All right, so let's jump into it. The Top 25 deck that we're going to take a look at is a Simic deck. Now, it's also discontinuity. We have gone ahead and taken a look at a Simic Flash deck that runs continuity. Uh, that was in the top 100. I think it was around 70-something. Um, this one is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and take a look at this list, and then we'll kind of talk through it here uh, about what the general strategy is for that deck. Now, this deck list is available for you down below in the description. You'll have access to it right away. If you got questions, comments, please let me know. Um, for starters, there is a lot of stuff in here that is... Uh, rare and mythic so this could cost you quite a bit in terms of craft so just keep in mind uh, that part now the other thing that i want to call out is this is primarily a best of one deck um, you can play it for best of three and i can kind of talk through that a little bit of how you might want to set that up now quickly uh, big call outs here uh, root snare and discontinuity so the idea here is ending on your opponent's turn or if they are playing on top of your turn and you need to shut it down the root snare is there to prevent the damage on their turn ideally your win conditions are really going to be euro uh, nissa and then the other piece there that may uh, work for you as well is obviously you got a couple flyers but getting fey of wishes and then pulling from the sideboard so that's a good segue for us to go ahead and look at the sideboard but before we do that discontinuity before you uh in case you didn't know the way that this works is it essentially ends the turn on the stack uh, exiling everything plus this card um, all damage wears off everything else so it's pretty nifty uh, it's a great way to shut down a lot of things and works really well so very excited about that now let's talk about the sideboard because this is going to be important now consider the sideboard in two terms here today so one uh, in terms of actually sideboarding things into your deck uh, for specific purposes in best of three again i would maybe change it up just slightly um, i would maybe run five other cards for specific sideboard stuff but we can always discuss that later um, and and two uh, how you would pull with with Fey of Wishes. So, uh, Tormont's Crypt is primarily here to take out a graveyard of your opponents. So again, this is gonna be some of those sack decks, spant decks, those kinds of things. Mystic Repeal, you're going on to run this against uh, things like Teamer Reclamation, uh, as well as probably Jeskai. Uh, anytime that you're seeing uh, White Enchantments, the Elspeth stuff, uh, I would run that. Next, we got Narset's Reversal. Again, Teamer Wreck. Any probably uh, burn decks or counter magic decks, uh, direct damage, those kinds of things is where I'd run, uh, run Narset's Reversal. Negate. Uh, again, any counter magic, mirror match, Planeswalker decks, Forklar, Yorian, those kinds of things. Now, I'm going to pause here for a minute because I know a lot of you like to ask, what would you sideboard? So for me, let's go ahead and look. We got 27 lands here. That's probably where I would start. Uh, I would feel safe going down to 24, and um, that's where I would probably start to pull. Then after that, what I would do is assess what we're playing against. So primarily against aggro, I would probably shift uh, up the mana curve and maybe remove uh, something more towards this end. And then on the other side, if it is a longer match, I would begin to think about removing some of these things up here. Like the key is you may not even need a root snare. So if you're playing a more creature heavy deck, uh, or not a creature heavy deck, you're not gonna wanna play this or vice versa, you will. Um, those are gonna be big call -outs. So like if you're playing a Simic Ramp deck uh, that's Ryan Ugin, you're not gonna need root snare. You're gonna, so things to keep in mind because they're gonna be dealing damage and pinging you with Ugin. All right. Let's finish out here. We got Wilt. So this is Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. You're going to run this against uh, Team or Wreck, any Artifact decks, which would be any of the Sacks. Sorceress Spyglass. I would run this against, like, Simic Ramp decks. Uh, you can name Ugin, but the key is, remember, when we get down below here, we also have an Ugin, so we're not going to be able to play it. So I would run this, particularly when you absolutely need to make sure that... Uh, uh, activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. So another one might be um, Team or Clover. 
All right, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. This is another opportunity for us to get a win condition by Self Mill uh, between him and uh, Tamio. So a couple of thoughts there. Um, you can absolutely probably play this against anything if you want, uh, or if you want to try and mill your opponents out, maybe that's that's kind of your, your choice too. Um, next, we got another Tamio. We discussed that already, but ideally, one thing I didn't cover is what are you going to be trying to pull? You're going to be trying to pull probably Discontinuity and Root Snare early on. Uh, also, you're going to want to get Fae of Wishes. You're going to probably down three quite often to try and pull this back, Root Snare or Discontinuity from your sideboard, uh, or your win condition potentially here with Nyssa. Next, we have Shark Typhoon. So again, uh, we got a lot of stuff that we're playing, so this would make a bunch of flying sharks, or if you need the draw, God Pharaoh Statue. This is to help kind of shut down your opponent and could potentially be a long-term pinger for game. Plain Wide Celebration, again, the this guy has a lot of abilities for us, so return permanent card from a graveyard to your hand. Uh, we can choose four, we can proliferate, we can gain four life, or create a bunch of tokens. So uh, win con, life gain, and ability to get some cards back that are going to do stuff for us. Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. This is going to be a big win condition for us. Also a mass exiling card. Uh, next we have mass manipulation. We can steal the board. And Blast Zone. Even though we have one of these already in, this is going to run really well against uh, creature heavy decks. So there we have it. Let's hop into some competitive magic. Again, if you got questions, uh, shout them out down below in the comments, and I will do my best uh, to address those. All right, here we go. Top 25 Simic Discontinuity Deck. Um, lastly, as always, before we get started here, decide if we want to keep the hand. I just want to say thank you uh, for your support, your feedback. Please feel free to subscribe down over there to the channel to stay up to date on content like this uh, and other amazing Magic the Gathering content. So, all right. Here we go, we're playing the Silver Beacon. Now, uh, we got a lot of great cards here, stuff we can deal with. Uh, it is a looking like a sack deck. So they running, they're running Gigantha. We'll keep this. We're gonna need to keep looking fast, okay. So maybe it now is not a sack deck since they're running white, but they could be running the Mardu style one. Now, one of the best things we can do is if we can get Nissa down, uh, playing this before their draw turn uh, and shutting things down, this is pretty amazing. Now, we just need a land. We'll take the one damage. And slow things down. Hopefully we can get another land here. Get some ramp going. There we go. And we don't want that. We already got one. We got a counter deck. It's probably Selesnia counters by the looks of it at this point. So we can do this. We will not fail. And let's pull a forest for Now, if we can live through this turn here, now we, then we can start shutting them down potentially on their turn. We need three islands, though. We got one, two, three, and then we'll have plenty of mana. So we can do a few things here. We 
could double block. We can also do that and take a guy off the board. I think we will do that. It takes impressive knowledge to be a temporal Oof, what do we want to discard here? We have Tamiyo. Let's get rid of growth. So let's see what we what they send at us. Give him his token. Two tokens. And there he got his green source. He or she. Now let's draw and discard. What do we want to drop here? Let's get rid of Brazen. There we go. Uh, we can do that. Actually, let's do this. We'll get rid of that. And then what do we have here? How many do we need? Not enough yet. We can go like this, though. Let us see if your and talents are worth cataloging. Let's go grab Faye. So we have enough for root snare here. We've been missing on lands, which is a bummer. Because we want to get closer to using discontinuity on the draw step. But we'll be able to pull a Ritzner back, which is what we need to do.
Alright. So we can go minus three and grab the root snare. I have we can get him into play. Uh, two, three, four, five. Could pay two life. And we need one more island then. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the stop before next turn and go into full control. No attacks. Next. Next. Oh, we need to draw a card. Do that one. Got to keep them at, if we get two extra turns. There we go. Uh, end turn. Pass the end turn. And we'll play discontinuity on that. All right, we'll go to draw. Here we got our Fey to main. We're gonna go four. And we'll go grab U again. And we can plus one. And let's grab. snare we can plus one on breeding pool again now we have our ooh again we don't need to attack in yet let's go plus one And we can play Discontinuity on their turn again. And then we can play Ugin and Exile. We can play Ugin right now and Exile everything below four. We're going to lose a lot of stuff, though, if we do that. We'll lose all our own stuff and have no mana. I could ping, I could start pinging though. That might be the way to do it. Well, but we need the two for root snare, so we need. Yeah, it's only gonna give us one. Uh, we'll play discontinuity again on their turn, so we'll go next. No attacks and turn. Ah, we missed the we missed the draw step. Ah, I gotta reset that every time. Maybe if we'll, we'll catch him on the play though. Maybe that's the way to do it. do that. We'll do this. There we go. Now we're at 10. We'll go to draw. So we'll draw again. So here's what we're going to be able to do. So we will be able to uh, discard this one. Main. I'm going to 
to keep that because I need the land. So play Ugin, clear the board. We can then have enough for this. Let's go one, two, three, four, eight. Now I'm doing that because we're going to wipe the board. And see, when we go exile each permanent with converted cost X or less, that's one or more colors. So for four, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose Tuffy, we're gonna lose Tamio. So we'll bring some things back. Hit that one. And what we want to do here is the next end of combat, next to main, we will minus three and return a root snare. Now, I'm going to save Taffy here. One will submit zero. And we'll ping him for two. Sorry, guys, this is a complicated deck. <laughs> Probably some things I could have done already, but. Um, we're going to leave it at that. Boom, shut down, absolutely shut down. So that was a great match to show you guys how this works. Um, I'm probably just gonna play that one and I'm doing that just because of one thing. Um, that was a long match. So I think that's an excellent one to show you guys how this deck works, um, how you play it, a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and review the deck list here. Um, just so you guys can see. So again, top 25, Simic Discontinuity deck, all about the ramp. Uh, we need Faye to go and pull some of our sideboard. In that situation, Nissa was enough to get us there, but we knew that if we could keep digging, prevent some of the damage, uh, we were gonna be able to get Ugin essentially build the control that we saw discontinuity at the pre-draw. So make sure you guys do that. Put that stopper on like I did, uh, as well as go in that full control mode. That will help you to be able to cast it that way. We didn't see it on my turn, but they didn't have anything that they would have been casting minus uh, the indestructible. Next, we saw Tefiri almost able to do take two extra turns after this one. Um, I, you know, I probably could have got there uh, last time and down downplayed it when I played Uganin instead of doing that draw. Um, that probably would have been the better spot. Again, pushing back. So. Lots of different things that we were able to use. Tamio to go find, as well as pull cards back. If you got questions, let me know down below in the description, or in the description is the deck list. If you got questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Again, thank you for your time. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there uh, for new, awesome, fun content. I hope you enjoy this top 25 Simic discontinuity deck. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning, primarily a best of one deck. Now. Lastly, uh, other ways you can support the channel, as I mentioned earlier, fo uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, follow on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to the channel. All right, Planeswalkers, we'll see you around. Enjoy this deck. It's awesome. Uh, pretty complicated to pilot, but a lot of fun at the same time, and you'll get used to it and pick it up pretty quickly. 
All right, Planeswalkers, have a good one and take care. We'll see you again soon.